Salam everyone. It's FaZe. And, I'm back with another video. So friends, today we are going to analyze Samsung. Have you ever thought what Samsung really is? How big is it? How the company under one name produce enormous amounts of products? Etc etc. Believe me. I was also astonished when I came to know about this. So, to answer some of these questions, I have made this video. At the end you will surely appreciate, the multi-giant. The Samsung. Before I start my analysis. Let me make clear that I have taken Samsung as a conglomerate, and not as a company. Now, you might ask a question that what the heck is a conglomerate? Let me make this clear. A conglomerate, is a combination of two or more corporations engaged in entirely different businesses, that fall under one corporate group, usually involving a parent company and many subsidiaries. Often, a conglomerate is a multi-industry company. Conglomerates are often large, and multinational. So, without any further ado let's start our analysis. Samsung is a South Korean multinational conglomerate company, Headquarter is in, Samsung Town, Seoul, South Korea. Yeah, you heard that right, there is a city named after Samsung. Samsung comprises numerous subsidiaries and affiliated businesses, most of them united under the Samsung brand, and is the largest South Korean business conglomerate. History Samsung was founded by Lee by Ung Chul, in 1938. As a trading company, Lee by Ung Chul, was one of South Korea's most successful businessmen. He attended college in Tokyo, but did not complete his degree. By Ung Chul, established a trucking business, in Daegu, on March 1, 1938, which he named Samsung Trading Company, the forerunner, to Samsung. Samsung means, three stars. Which explains the initial corporate logos. By 1945, Samsung was transporting goods, throughout Korea and to other countries. The company was based in Seoul, by 1947. It was one of the ten largest trading companies when the Korean War started in 1950. With the conquest of Seoul by the North Korean army, Lee was forced to relocate his business to Pusan. The massive influx of US troops and equipment into Pusan over the next year and a half of the war proved to be highly beneficial to Lee's trucking company. Over the next three decades, the group diversified into areas including food processing, textiles, insurance, securities and retail. Samsung entered the electronics industry in the late 1960s and the construction and shipbuilding industries in the mid-1970s. In the 1980s, Samsung Electronics began to invest heavily in research and development, investments that were pivotal in pushing the company to the forefront of the global electronics industry. In 1982, it built a television assembly plant in Portugal, in 1984, a plant in New York, in 1985, a plant in Tokyo, in 1987, a facility in England, and another facility in Austin, Texas, in 1996. As of 2012, Samsung has invested more than 13 billion US dollars in the Austin facility, which operates under the name Samsung Austin Semiconductor. This makes the Austin location the largest foreign investment in Texas and one of the largest single foreign investments in the United States. The Breakup Following Lee's death in 1987, Samsung was separated into four business groups. Samsung Group, Shinzegi Group, CJ Group, and Hansel Group. Since 1990s, Samsung has increasingly globalized its activities and electronics, particularly mobile phones and semiconductors, have become its most important source of income. Samsung started to rise as an international corporation in the 1990s. 
Samsung's construction branch was awarded a contract to build one of the two Petronas Towers in Malaysia, Taipei 101 in Taiwan, and the Burj Khalifa in United Arab Emirates. Yup, you heard that right. Samsung became the largest producer of memory chips in the world in 1992, and is the world's second largest chip maker after Intel. In 1995, it created its first liquid crystal display screen. Ten years later, Samsung grew to be the world's largest manufacturer of liquid crystal display panels. Notable Samsung industrial subsidiaries include Samsung Electronics, the world's largest information technology company measured by 2012 revenues, and fourth in market value. Samsung Heavy Industries, the world's second largest shipbuilder measured by 2010 revenues, and Samsung Engineering and Samsung C&T, respectively the world's 13th and 36th largest construction companies. Other notable subsidiaries include Samsung Life Insurance, the world's 14th largest life insurance company, Samsung Everland, operator of Everland Resort, the oldest theme park in South Korea, and Chiel, worldwide the world's 15th largest advertising agency measured by 2012 revenues. Samsung has a powerful influence on South Korea's economic development, politics, media and culture and has been a major driving force behind the miracle on the Han River. Its affiliate companies produce around a fifth of South Korea's total exports. Samsung's revenue was equal to 17% of South Korea's $1,082 billion GDP. Samsung Meaning According to Samsung's founder, the meaning of the word Samsung is tri-star, or three stars. The word three represents something big, numerous and powerful. In first quarter of 2012, Samsung Electronics became the world's largest mobile phone maker, by unit sales, overtaking Nokia, which had been the market leader since 1998. Operations Samsung comprises around 80 companies. It is highly diversified, with activities in areas including construction, consumer electronics, financial services, shipbuilding and medical services, subsidiaries and affiliates. Samsung SDS. Samsung SDS is a multinational IT service company. Samsung SDS is the Korea's largest IT service company. Samsung Electronics. Samsung Electronics is a multinational electronics and information technology company, the flagship company of the Samsung Group. Its products include, air conditioners, computers, digital televisions, liquid crystal displays, including, DFTs, and, AMOLEDs, mobile phones, monitors, printers, refrigerators, semiconductors and telecommunications networking equipment. It is the world's largest mobile phone maker, by unit sales. It is also the world's second largest semiconductor maker, by 2011 revenues. Samsung Fire and Marine Insurance. It is a multinational general, insurance company. It is the largest provider of general, insurance in South Korea. Samsung Heavy Industries. It is a shipbuilding and engineering company. Its principal products are bulk carriers, container vessels, crude oil tankers, cruisers, passenger ferries, material handling equipment steel, and bridge structures. It is the world's second largest shipbuilder by revenues, after Hyundai Heavy Industries. Samsung Life Insurance. It is a multinational life insurance company. It is the largest provider of life insurance in South Korea. They do have a medical center, named, Samsung Medical Center. They are also in hotel business, namely, Schiller Hotels and Resorts. Samsung Corning Precision Glass. 
It is a joint venture between Samsung and Corning, which was established in 1973 to manufacture and market cathode ray tube glass for black and white televisions. And yeah, that is the same Corning company, which makes Corning Gorilla Glass. Samsung partially owns many companies too. Some of those are Atlantico Sol. Samsung Heavy Industries owns 10% of the Brazilian shipbuilder Atlantico Sol, whose Atlantico Sol shipyard is the largest shipyard in South America. Corning Incorporated. Samsung acquired 7.4% of Gorilla Glass maker Corning, signing a long term supply deal. Duzan Engine. Samsung Heavy Industries currently have 14.1% stake in Duzan Engine, making it the second largest shareholder. Samsung is also engaged in aerospace, namely Korean aerospace industries. Renault Samsung Motors. Samsung currently owns 19.9% of the automobile manufacturer, Renault Samsung Motors. Seagate Technology. Samsung currently owns 9.6% of Seagate Technology. It's the same Seagate, which are in our computers. Sharp Corporation. Samsung owns 3% of Sharp Corporation, a rival company, and much much more. Samsung even makes military vehicles, like tanks etc etc. If I were to mention all those, then it would take much more time to describe, the real extent of Samsung. So, this was a little analysis from my side. Hope you liked it. If you like the content then please like, share and comment. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Be blessed.